Hi everybody, welcome to Budget Freedom. My name is Christo. And I'm Jessica. And we'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Budget Freedom and our journey on our debt-free life and e-commerce uh, business. So we left off on the last video uh, talking about our brand and your brand and what you would want to do in order to decide how you're going to move forward on building your e-commerce business. Um, so yeah, if you decide to go for a lower scale brand, cheaper, cheaper products, basically, that's great. Um, the first thing I would do is I would tell you to write down all your costs. So write down a, every single thing that you're going to have to pay in a month for your business. Write down your, if you have a telephone for the business or, um, I know a lot of you are going to be working from home, so you might already Internet. have these costs, you know, as a house bill, but it's good to start putting them as a business bill because in the future, um, you want to anyway claim all those costs back on your business to get a tax reduction at the end of the year. Uh, so whatever you can move as a business expense, go ahead and do that. So internet, telephone, um, obviously you have to be able to put it, put it in your business name. Okay. That's another situation, but so if you're, think very hard what you're going to call your business. If you're going to be a sole proprietor, especially on Amazon, your sole proprietor business name has to match your name exactly. So you need to be ABC sole proprietor on Amazon, and then you need to go and register that exact name at the registrar in your company. Uh, you can trade as a different name, so you can be registered as ABC Incorporated or whatever on Amazon, and then you can do, be doing business as you know, party central, that's not a problem on Amazon. It gives you the option. It gives you the option for your legal business entity name, and then it gives you the option for your store name. And your store name can be a different name. Another thing to keep in mind with that, if you are going to do that, uh, especially for a brand, you will want to look at trademarking so that someone else doesn't steal your brand. And again, the same rules follow. Whatever documents you do for your business, um, it needs to match Amazon to the letter. You cannot have yes. a capital where a, a lowercase should be. You cannot have a period if there's not. It's not a joke, guys. Amazon will not approve you, and they will give you so many problems. They will shut down your account. They will hold your money. And we see these comments on the forums every single yeah. day, and it really honestly blows my mind how people still you know, don't know how strict Amazon is. I'm not saying that it's people's fault, you know, um, but for example, if your street is Honey Street 1, okay? But in Amazon, you put 1 Honey Street, they will deny you. Yeah. If your street is Honey Street 1, comma, and it doesn't show exactly like that with the comma on your telephone bill that you give to them as proof of residency on your bank statement, on your government documents, they will reject you. You guys need to be really, really, really careful with this. When you so make it. from yeah. day one, when you set up your company, Make sure that you have this all written down and you know what you're doing because as, as soon as you register on Amazon, that is done. You are not allowed more than one Amazon account. You're not allowed more than one. Even if you open it, like for us, we are not allowed to open separate Amazon accounts from the same IP. And actually per Amazon policy, if you read their policy, anybody in the same household is not allowed to have additional Amazon accounts. So yes. one household household can only have one, one seller account. So even if I'm living with my sister or my cousin or my best friend in the same household from the same address, we can't have two seller accounts. Um, and people get caught with this. Don't think they don't get caught. They get caught every day and then they cry on the forums and they say, you know, why is Amazon so mean and what a what a what a And I mean, we agree Amazon is ridiculous when it comes to that uh, to a point because there are a lot of Shiesty people out there that will open accounts, make money, take people's money, not deliver the goods, and then just open up another account and keep doing that. Now, that's a nightmare and a headache for me and for most people. But there are a lot of people out there. So, obviously, Amazon is trying to curb that, which I respect and I'm grateful for. Yeah. Um, so, you know, rules are there, guys. Rules are there for follow all of us. Follow the rules. Yeah. Like uh, everything else. you you got to follow the rules. If you don't follow the well, rules... Well, and the thing they're... with rules is that people need to remember is rules are there to help us and then sometimes they also do make things more challenging yes. for us but we have to just focus on okay what is the benefit of these rules yeah. you know and if there's no rules to be quite honest I don't think any of us would be in business because yes. we are not the kind of people that would be doing you know uh, like they say black hat, black hat tactics or 
you know, you know, bad selling practices. We wouldn't do that. I would feel I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. And lying the, to people. Yes, and there's the thing. There's so many things that you can actually do to do that thing with technology nowadays. You can have five accounts with VPNs and all that, but is it worth it? End of the day, just ask yourself to go through that stress, and then end of the day you get caught because you will get caught. Doesn't matter what you do behind. The, the thing door. is, okay, you can open an account with a VPN, but then again. To verify your bank details, to verify yes, your yes. passport, you can't do that. You can't have no. You can't two have three it, accounts. Yes, exactly. You, you will get caught. You will get you caught. Will. Even if you do it with your friends, you will get caught. At one point, you will be at a coffee shop. You will log on to your Amazon account at the wrong point without thinking, and yes. they will catch you. Yes. They have bots searching constantly for yes. that. And that is another tip that I will give you. If you are going to log on to your Amazon Seller Central account from your tablet or your phone, Choose one device and only use that device. And don't ever let anybody else, friends, family, anybody else, log on to your device with their seller account. Never. Um, guys, I'm telling you, never. Yeah. You will get shut down. And don't give anybody else. I mean, I, I know uh, there's been uh, uh, on YouTube a lot of stuff about getting... Uh, Reviews from Fever Five or oh, yeah, five paying years. for reviews, paying and for things. reviews, and then people give their account mm -hmm. to these people. They log in from I don't know where, uh, Sri Lanka, whatever. And okay, they, it's it, the country has nothing to do no, with but, it. No, yeah. but I'm saying yes. You're in the United States. They're logging from uh, oh, yeah. another country, and then well, well, what's going on here? Yeah, Amazon does pick it up. If you if you give your details and people from other countries log on, it's not good. Yes. Um, so don't ever do that. Don't give your account to anybody. But the other thing is, if your friend Keep comes over and they're like, "Hey, I want to show you what's going on on my seller central account," yes, and they're in your lounge, they're logging onto your internet. That, that is a that's, problem. Yes, that's a don't problem. Don't do that. Bravo. That's and a good point. No, really. I mean, this is 2020 I'm talking, guys. In the last three weeks, I saw three forum posts about this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. Amazon said they shut down my account because it's associated to another account. But I don't have another account. I never had. And then the other... Well, it's sad, actually. Yeah, but well... But the other sellers will start asking, well, are you sure? What happened? And, oh, well, my friend came over last week and they logged on and they showed me some stuff. And everybody says, well, guys... That's you should why. know that. They, yes. You logged on from the same IP. Amazon associated your selling accounts. And now you're both locked out. You're, you and your friend get suspended. Exactly. And you will not get it recovered. Yes. And for the rest of your life, you are banned for life from getting another seller account. So it's really serious, guys. Take this seriously. Yes. If this is going to be your business, you know, it's not about showing friends and family and whatever else. Um, it's, and it's about protecting yourself and your business and your brand. So enough about that. Yes. But uh, back to the documents quickly, I wanted to say another thing. So that's another big thing. If you're going to do a brand, you definitely have to trademark your brand because there are, as soon as you start to do well, somebody out there, someone in whichever country, I don't want to name countries because it's not about the country, it's about the people doing this. Yeah. Uh, any country, even in your own country, somebody will look at your brand and they might look it up and go, you know what, this guy's not trademarked. Let me go ahead and trademark that brand and then get you kicked off Amazon and they take over all your listings. And if you think it's not possible, it's done over and over and over again. I, I'm also seeing that like crazy. So it is a huge investment, but put it down on your list as in, you know initial business startup costs. Yeah. Invest in that. So going back to deciding how you want your brand to go, which brand to choose, if you want a high quality brand or a lower quality brand, um, write down all these costs, whatever you can put on the business, again, uh, to put on your actual business name. So if you're going to do an LLC or an incorporation or LTD, or if you're going to be a sole proprietor, whatever you choose, just make sure that is going to be the exact name that you intend to use for as long as you intend to do business. So if you're going to do business for the next five to 10 years, um, you know, it might cost a bit more to be an LLC than a sole incorporator. It, again, it depends on the company guys. So, I mean the country, sorry. Um, don't think, well, I don't want to sign up for that now because I'm not sure if it'll work. You know, people do this a lot with VAT and things, um, which, okay, this is a complicated situation, again, if you're in America in the, in the mm, EU. Yeah. But, you know, that is a good point. Whatever country you're in, you know, I, I read on the forums constantly people saying, well, I didn't know that was the law. That You need to read your tax law. 
before you start your company. And you need to know your tax obligations because Amazon is getting the screws put on them harder and harder every single day by every country. The EU and America are getting much, much harder on Amazon. So um, there's no use in saying, well, I'm just going to try it out and see because what if you're successful? Let me tell you this. If you sign up as an individual person and you're successful and then you want to switch to a business account, but you've signed up as Joe Smith, as soon as you switch to a business account, if you don't go register your business as Joe Smith, exactly the same, Amazon says, sorry, you got to shut down this account, lose all your listings, lose all your ratings, and start a whole new account exactly. under the company name. So you want to think ahead. It's better to calculate your tax costs now, calculate your VAT now, get your company set up now to grow. Don't be scared. Don't think about one or two years right now. Think about long-term and future. If that is your goal, that's, you know, and especially with a brand, that's what you should be looking at. You should be looking at five to 10 years. So you never want to make a decision based on, well, the next six months, well, the next year. It's not a good idea but because I, I, everything that you're, one second, everything you're investing now in the brand, you know, needs to be able to pay you off. So if you're going to go get trademark, I mean, that's 2000 bucks in most countries. In yes. the EU, it's 850 euros. Yes. In America, it's... Depending on the trademark that you're going to get, but for a single um, uh, a single category, so basically if you just want to do a logo or if you just want to do uh, an image uh, image or writing, not if you're not really good with trademark law, you have to look into it or hire a trademark attorney. But there's different ways you can trademark your company. The cheapest way, if you want to do the basic option, which is very fine to do in the beginning. In America, I think it's $1,250. I'd have to recheck it again. Uh, but you can find that on any government site and then the EU is 850 euros so it's not extraordinary the cost but it is a cost and you want that to pay off over the next five yes. years so all these things that you're going to put into it you know they're not short-term investments they're long-term investments and there's no point in doing them if you're not planning on building and growing sorry what did you want to well no I want to ask for the guys there I mean if you want to start the Amazon account let's yeah. say and let's say I choose my name I choose my brand let's say my brand is uh you know, um, black widows, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so well, first thing you need to do is check, is it trademarked? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you got to check, but let's Don't say choose a name that's trademarked. All right. Or that someone else is using, even if it's not trademarked, why would you choose a name that someone else already has as a website? That's or very business? good. Check, I mean, check if the name is trademarked before you do anything. Especially right? if like black widow, let's say they're, <laughs> they're trademarked or, I mean, they're a company selling black blinds, let's just say, yes. you know, and you want to now sell, Black Widow clothing, you know, you, you're going to have to convince all those customers of Black Widow blinds now to come shop at Black Widow clothing. It's ridiculous. All right. So back to my question. Yeah. Let's say I just want to try out before I register a company or anything else. So let's say, okay, can I register? I would say I, w I want my company to be, let's say, you know, widows for everyone, let's say, right? Can I register... Can I start in Amazon without registering? Register with that name. Put my bank details. Okay. And then after, let's say, two, three months, I say, okay, it's going well. well. As it, no, as an Can, individual seller. Yes. Uh, as an, if you're going to sign up as an individual seller on Amazon, you have to put your name. And you have to provide your passport and your proof of residency. Okay. So it has to be your name. So it's going to be my name. So if, if I register from the beginning as a... Uh, individual yes then afterwards if it goes well i have to register my name as the, your company as that's a very company. good question that's yeah what, that's, what that's what i was what trying I to say to... yes okay yeah so this is the difference guys yes if you want to just try it out from the beginning without having a company mm -hmm. already registered like you know blue books llc or yes. whatever um yes you have to put your name to register even if you want to you can do a business account uh, as an individual you they will require your name and your documents to prove that you are the owner of that okay. name. So if you want to, like you say, go try out yes. Black Widow, whatever, um, they would want a utility bill with that name on it. They would want a bank statement with that name on it. They will want uh, government documents, business documents with that name on it, proving that you own that. So how are you going to do that if you don't have a company? So then, answer. so this is your choice, guys. If you are prepared to have your name John Smith as your company name, try it with your name, and then if you're happy, you can okay. turn it into a business. 
if from day one you really want to have your brand name registered as your company name, just go ahead and take the leap, guys. You know, okay, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. People do people open and close companies every single day. I'm an accountant, I know. It's it's nothing. If you open it and you file zero rated returns, nobody is gonna jump on you for that. All right. You know, but you'll be legal. And if you need to start filing, you will be covered. And Amazon won't give you any problems when you're successful. But the other situation, if you're an individual person and then you wanna switch to a business and then you have to go you have to redo the verification process on Amazon and then they can the problem is there they can reject you and tell you have to open a new account and that is dangerous because that means all the work that you did before gets lost all your listings all your ratings everything so what i hear here is uh like uh, my wife says just take the leap and open a company from the beginning yeah. and go ahead that's definitely now my the other thing is what i want and go for, and go for the lowest company level yes. go for a sole proprietor so or go for an ltd right uh, depending on your country, what options you have, but do something. And another good reason, just to tell you guys, another good thing is um, getting a company protects you from personal liability. Right. It separates you. If something happens, I'm talking if you take a loan or something and you default or you have to go bankrupt if the company doesn't work, it protects your personal investments. They won't come after your personal house, your personal car, right. your personal savings. So... If you have a family, especially, or just you as a person that doesn't want to, you know, get stuck, because sometimes businesses don't work, not that I'm recommending that, <laughs> you know, at least you have some kind of protection. Right. Um, and then obviously there's the legal protection as well if somebody wanted to sue you for some reason or not. So there's a lot of benefits to doing that as opposed to just putting everything on but your name and taking it personally. You have protection only if you get a LTD or LOC. If you get a company like individual, like a sole proprietor, I think you do not cover yourself there. You don't have pro pro protection it, as a sole proprietor. Let me stop you there. It's different in every single country, and I recommend that you speak to a professional in your company mm. country concerning that. I'm not about to speak for 110 countries around yes. the world. Um, even every single European country, even though they're under the EU law, they have specific country uh, laws uh, that apply. So I'm, I'm not going to speak to that. All right. But and yes, obviously some kind of company form is more protection than a sole proprietorship. I see. Yeah. And I, I want to also, uh, you know, finish up this video with uh, one last question I want to ask you about the VAT. Now, when you open the company, because I know like every country has a a threshold like uh, Germany's got hundred thousand, France got thirty five thousand euros, and every country obviously. Wait. Do you? What my question is, they obviously will open just a company without uh, VAT registration. Yes. They just open a normal company. No, and... no, 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 no. This is going to be another video, guys, um, because it's too much to tell you here. But again, according to your country, America has different rules than the EU. But the EU, ha if you from day one, selling one item, if you store that item in your country, you have to be VAT registered in that company, oh, that okay. country. That is the law. Okay. Uh, then we'll get into the distance thresholds and the other things. And okay. if you're going to go FBA, there's a whole bunch of different rules. Uh, but again, guys, that's that's the next video. <laughs> so have a great time. Please like, hit the like button. Subscribe. Please subscribe, please. Uh, if you guys like this video, yes, uh, please share your thoughts. And write to us in the comments. We're yes. going to be happy to answer any questions that you have and really build a communi community That's it, <laughs> around uh, supporting each other and uh, giving each other information that can help us all get a leg up. Because you know what, guys? There's a huge pie out there and there's a slice for everybody. So exactly. don't let anybody tell you that there's not enough out there for you, that it's already flooded. It is flooded, but there, you know, one, one slice of a billion dollars is good enough for me. So if it's good enough for you... Exactly join us on the journey there is enough abundance for everybody so thank yeah. you guys for watching we'll see you next time bye, bye. peace out